Hello winders. So this is the part two of the marathon 155 kilowatt. So we're doing a connection here and I show you the original factory connection. So this is my diagram. I'm showing you how to do the connection. So step by step. So I stick around and let's do the connection. So now let's start uh, the connection. So basically from one, two, three and the fourth, that's your pole connection. So just one count one, two, three and the number four is the pole connection. One, two, three and the fourth is the uh, pole connection again. So this is a four pole generator. So this is the standard procedure for doing a connection for a three-phase generator. This is a factory connection. So on the diagram, phase A is red ink, phase B is blue, and phase C is black. So before we begin, let's pick a coil to start our line one, like this. This is my coil for line one. So all your uh, yellow sleeving is the end of coil and the white sleeving or the white spaghetti are the start of your coil. You see here, I'm pointing the white. That's all your start of your coil. Here's the coil. We're going to start our line one. See that white sleeving? That's your start. That's line one. Face A, mark with red with the masking tape. So I'm, I'm pointing here the coil. So one start and the end is four. Yellow sleeving. Then you can see here count one, two, three because it's three phase. Then the next coil is your pull connection. So next pull connection. So the white is your number four and the yellow is your number one. So white is your start and one is your end. So after numbering the next pole connection, go to the next pole connection. You have to count one, two, three again. And the next coil is your pole connection. So you gotta number it. Your start is seven and your end is 10. Yeah, sorry for the noise. You know, lots of viewers complaining about the noise, but this is a shop, so it's normally it's normal we have noise here i'm not the only one working here so sorry guys for the noise so that's the end of the coil number 10. So we're done leveling, so you have to count one, two, three again, and the next coil is your uh, pull connection. So you have to number it 10, your start, and seven is your end. As you can see here, I'm writing 10 on the white sleeving, and the yellow sleeving is your number seven.
So we're done on the phase one, the line one. So we're moving to phase two for the line two. So you can see here, I'm pointing the next coil. That's your line two. From line one, the red, and line two is the next coil. So the line two is different. Your start here is the line five. And uh, the end, the yellow sleeving is your line two. So it's factory connection. So I'm just following the factory connection, original connection, so that I don't have a problem. Are you done tomorrow? Yeah. Send it to Barry Herold, you know. <laughs> It's the same process count one two three and the next coil is your full connection for the second phase so your white sleeving your start is your number two and the end the yellow sleeving is your number five So count one, two, three again. So the next call is your second phase pull connection. So your white sleeving is your number 11. That's your start. And the eight is the yellow sleeving. That's the end. So you start counting one, two, three, and the next coil is the pull connection. The white sleeving is your number eight, and the yellow sleeving, the end of coil, is your number 11. So second phase is done. We're moving to line three, the third phase. So count one, two, three from line one coil. So the third coil, your start white sleeving is your start. And that's your line three. And the yellow sleeving, that's your end. That is your line six. See here the start white sleeving. I'm writing three. And the yellow sleeving. I'm writing number six. So same process again. Count one, two, three. And the fourth coil is your pull connection from line three. So that is your white sleeving. Your start is your six. And the end yellow sleeving is number three. then count one two three again the fourth coil is your pull connection so your start the white sleeving is number nine and the uh, end of coil yellow sleeving is number 12 yeah. yellow sleeving or yellow spaghetti white sleeving or white spaghetti whatever do you want to call
count one two three again and the fourth coil is your white sleeving start is number 12 and the yellow sleeving the end of coil is number nine so we're done in connection so let's start putting leads and weld the connection and tie the connection the crown and that's it it's all done third phase is done that's the connection diagram for a marathon 155 kilowatt generator Lots of guys is asking me what I'm using when I'm welding. So this is Castellin Eutetic rod, a silver rod. good until uh, see that tensile strength 620 MPA or 50 pounds 50,000 PSI okay. temperature is 640 C before it melts okay. so this is For today only. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I don't have a video how to do the uh, leads on that uh, generator. This is from my previous generator rewind, same the same 155 kilowatt. So I'm just showing you here how to uh, put the leads. So take one and one and solder it to the leads or to the terminal so that's the way you're gonna put the leads on this uh, generator so the same with the other leads just take the same numbers put the leads or a terminal solder it so this is a 12 leads generator one star connection in the terminal box outside
So our generator technician Kyle is painting on the vacuum bench so it sucks all the fumes so it's safe to paint inside our shop. That's all winders. See you in my next video. Please subscribe to my channel and keep on rewinding.